in a move that will provide desperately needed financial relief to millions of low-income Canadian seniors, the Canada Revenue Agency, CRA, has announced that Guaranteed Income Supplement, GIS, payments totaling $3,200 are set to be deposited directly into their bank accounts within the next few days. This vital income top-up could not come at a more crucial time, as many impoverished retirees struggle to make ends meet in the face of relentlessly rising inflation. The GIS program has long served as an essential lifeline for our nation's most vulnerable elders, supplementing their modest old age security payments to help cover fundamental expenses like housing, utilities, and medical care. However, as costs continue their unrelenting climb, even this combined assistance has been stretched razor thin, forcing countless seniors into heartbreaking choices between basic necessities. For low-income seniors living in perpetual financial insecurity, this GIS payment increase is nothing short of a lifeline, a vital buffer protecting their basic dignity and independence when price hikes seem to outpace their inability to keep up. As the threat of inflation looms, eroding the value of fixed incomes with every passing month, this latest round of payments serves as a poignant reminder of how crucial income supports are for the most vulnerable segments of our aging population. As this much-needed financial aid begins flowing into seniors' accounts, a collective sigh of relief will likely be felt from coast to coast. For many destitute elders, it represents a reassurance that their most basic needs can be met, that the creeping specter of homelessness or medical bankruptcy can be held at bay, if only temporarily. It is a hard-won lifeline suspended in turbulent economic waters, offering Canada's most impoverished seniors a chance to keep their heads above water for another year. As this news of increased GIS payments spreads, a sense of joy and hope swells within me for the millions of low-income seniors who will soon experience a much-needed financial boost. It is a moment worth celebrating, and I encourage all of you watching to engage with this content by liking, sharing, and subscribing. By doing so, we can amplify this message and raise awareness about this crucial issue that impacts so many of our nation's most vulnerable elders. And for those who take the time to support and engage with this video, I will offer a heartfelt prayer that they too receive their increased benefits by tomorrow. May the blessings of financial security and peace of mind touch every senior's life alleviating their worries and allowing them to enjoy their golden years with dignity and comfort. The profound impact of this $3,200 increase in GIS payments cannot be overstated. For countless low-income seniors teetering on the precipice of financial insecurity, this influx of funds could be truly life-altering, a beacon of hope amidst the storm of rising costs and dwindling resources. Imagine the relief of no longer having to choose between paying for essential medications or keeping the lights on. Picture the peace of mind that comes with knowing you can afford a warm, nutritious meal without sacrificing other necessities. For many, this increase could mean the difference between barely scraping by and maintaining a modest yet dignified quality of life. Moreover, this financial boost has the potential to alleviate a tremendous burden of stress and anxiety that has weighed heavily on the shoulders of so many impoverished retirees. No longer will they have to lie awake at night, consumed by worries about how to make ends meet, or whether they will have to sacrifice their hard-earned independence to make ends meet. Instead, this increase may very well provide the crucial lifeline needed to maintain their sense of self-worth their ability to age gracefully in the comfort of their own homes, surrounded by cherished memories and loved ones. For some, it could open the door to pursuing long-held dreams or hobbies that were previously out of reach due to financial constraints, injecting a renewed sense of purpose and joy into their golden years. Regardless of how each individual chooses to allocate these funds, one thing is certain. This increase has the power to uplift the spirits and restore a sense of hope and happiness for millions of low-income seniors across our great nation, providing them with the means to weather the storm of rising costs and enjoy the retirement they have so deservedly earned. This substantial increase in GIS payments 
is a resounding testament to the government's unwavering commitment to supporting our nation's most vulnerable seniors and ensuring that they can live out their golden years with dignity, respect, and financial security. It is a powerful statement that echoes the values of compassion and social responsibility that have long defined our Canadian identity. By taking this significant step, the government has acknowledged the unique challenges and vulnerabilities faced by our aging population, many of whom have dedicated their lives to building the foundations upon which our society stands today. It is a symbolic gesture of gratitude and a recognition that their contributions have not been forgotten, even as they navigate the twilight years of their lives. Moreover, this increase sends a resounding message that the government remains steadfastly committed to upholding and strengthening the social safety net that has been a source of pride and reassurance for generations of Canadians. It is a promise that our most vulnerable elders will not be left behind, that their well-being is a priority, and that their voices will continue to be heard and their needs addressed. As our population ages and the demands on our health care and social systems grow, this decisive action serves as a beacon of hope demonstrating that the government is willing to take bold, decisive steps to ensure the financial security and overall well-being of our most vulnerable citizens. It is a commitment that transcends political affiliations and speaks to the very core of our shared values as a nation. While this increase in GIS payments is undoubtedly a significant and welcome development, it would be remiss not to acknowledge that there are still areas in need of further improvement and attention. For many low-income seniors, the rising costs of health care and prescription medications continue to be a source of immense financial strain, often forcing them to make difficult choices between their health and other essential expenses. Additionally, the ever-present threat of inflation looms large, with the potential to erode the purchasing power of these increased payments over time. As the cost of living continues to climb, it is imperative that the government remains vigilant and proactive in ensuring that these financial supports keep pace with the realities faced by seniors on the ground. Furthermore, issues such as housing affordability, access to reliable transportation, and the availability of quality, affordable long-term care options remain pressing concerns for many low-income retirees and their families. While this increase in GIS payments is a step in the right direction, a comprehensive and holistic approach is needed to truly address the multifaceted challenges faced by our aging population. It is crucial that we continue to advocate for ongoing improvements and adjustments to ensure that our social safety net remains robust, responsive, and capable of meeting the evolving needs of our most vulnerable citizens. As we celebrate this hard-won victory for low-income seniors' financial security, it is crucial that we maintain a balanced perspective and acknowledge that there is still work to be done. While this increase in GIS payments will undoubtedly provide much-needed relief, it is but one piece of a larger puzzle. The unique challenges faced by our aging population are multifaceted and complex, requiring a multidimensional approach that addresses not only financial concerns, but also issues surrounding healthcare, housing, transportation, and overall quality of life. It is imperative that we continue to raise our voices, advocate for comprehensive solutions, and demand that our elected officials remain committed to prioritizing the well-being of our nation's most vulnerable seniors. Only through a collaborative effort involving government, community organizations, and the public at large can we truly create a society that truly honors and supports our elders throughout their golden years. While this increase is a significant step forward, we must remain vigilant and ensure that it is not the end of our efforts, but rather a catalyst for continued progress and improvement. For as our population ages, the challenges faced by our low-income seniors will only become more pressing, and it is our collective responsibility to ensure that they are met with compassion, dignity, and unwavering support. As we bask in the warmth of this hard-fought victory, let us not forget the power that each of us holds to drive meaningful change and create a brighter future for our most vulnerable seniors. By engaging with this content, liking, sharing, and subscribing, 
we can amplify the voices of those who have paved the way for our collective success. Together, we can raise awareness about the unique challenges faced by our low-income aging population and demand that their needs be met with compassion, dignity, and unwavering support. Our collective voices have the power to shape policies, influence decision-makers, and create a society that truly honors and cherishes its elders. So, let us embrace this moment of triumph as a catalyst for further action, a rallying cry that echoes across our great nation, reminding us all that the well-being of our most vulnerable seniors is a responsibility we all share. Let us stand united in our commitment to ensuring that no senior is left behind, that their contributions are honored, and that their golden years are filled with the security, respect, and quality of life they so richly deserve.